kilogram weight class. I'll continue on with the rest later after this bout, but for now, let's go to the ring. We've had the announcement. The referee's checking what he needs to check with each boxer until he brings them to the center of the ring. For instructions, that's what we see now. So we've got five of 12 bouts in the books, and now we're going to see the sixth bout between Stephen Butler of Quebec in the red and Chris Porteous from Nova Scotia. A little bit of a reach advantage uh, by Stephen Butler, but uh, that's always been the case from what I've seen with Chris so far. He's always been the smaller opponent, but usually he's taken away that space and dis or that uh, distance away from the, his opponent by getting close, uh, being able to get under the punches, smother his opponent. Stephen Butler may be controlling a little bit of the center of the ring. Nice uh, double jab, right hand. Left hook. He's uh, Stephen Butler's doing what you want a taller but uh, boxer to do. You want him to jab and you want to punch as the other boxer comes in. As the other boxer comes into range, that's when you want to punch. You don't want to wait till he gets there and then you've got a, you know, the shorter boxer has is within range. You want to keep him out of range. Left hook thrown as Chris Porteous advances, nothing landing. I think we've seen so far a right hand, and now a left of uh, Stephen Butler scored, and now a left from Chris Porteous has scored. I think there you're going to see uh, you see the, the referee uh, costing Stephen Butler for uh, hitting the back of the head of Chris Porteous. Chris manages to get in, uh, gets close. Stephen Butler tying up. Referee separates him and ready to go again. Stephen Butler, his first time as a senior at the Nationals, 18 years of age. Chris Porteous, a young, uh, a young boxer in his own right, only 23 years old, from Nova Scotia. Big right hand by Stephen Butler, came from the outside in, thrown mostly with the arms. Uh, didn't do any damage. Chris Porteous taking a peek outside the ring, see what's going on, comes back in. Right uppercut, left hook, both blocked. Uh, oh, there's a right hand, straight right, lands on the chin. Chris Porteous uh, put, his, put his head forward uh, to come into the ring or to come into the opponent, uh, straight right hand from uh, Stephen Butler shot out, and that's it. Chris Porteous trying to get up, uh, or wants to get up. The doctors are encouraging him to stay down. Uh, like I said, this sport is a sport focused on safety first, is now looking at uh, Chris Porteous in the ring, both doctors uh, giving him attention, making sure that before he's allowed to move, everything checks out okay. There's no way that uh, the doctors will uh, do anything other than uh, what's safest for, uh, for Chris. Uh, regardless of what the boxer wants to do, it's the doctor's discretion is what happens as we continue. All boats... Uh, all tournaments, all events uh, at this level, uh, minimum uh, two doctors ringside. And in fact, at this event, we have four doctors uh, ringside. Uh, what we also have is uh, both uh, boxers inspected before they're allowed to leave the ring, even if you win. <laughs> Obviously, Chris Porteous will be looked at further. Uh, there's an examining room that they have to go to in the event of uh, a stoppage due to the headshot. As well, it's at the doctor's discretion as to what type of uh, suspension is in place. Uh, the, 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 each boxer has a passport uh, that he has to submit before a competition, and he will be given a, uh, uh, the doctors mm -hmm. can decide if he want to give him a 30, uh, 60, 90 day suspension before allowing him to participate. So 
Doctors being cautious, everybody being cautious uh, with allowing uh, Mr. Porteous to come out of the ring. Uh, Chris wanted to exit on his own, but they required a, a um, they required an, uh, a male uh, coach to come over and just assist him. Again, just to apply caution and apply safety. So again, a good showing by uh, Stephen Butler. Uh, on his uh, success in that uh, in that bout against uh, Chris Porteous, again a smaller boxer moving his head down as he comes in. He just caught putting his head in the opposite direction of Mr. Porteous's gloves. Uh, caught one on the chin. I'm sitting here watching uh, Chris. He's trying to tell everybody that he's okay and doesn't want to go, but uh, uh, it's not his call. It's the doctor's safety first here. Chris is being looked at, uh, con you know, given uh, congratulations by the other um, opponents, uh, coaches, just to make you know, let them know that uh, spirited about. And Chris uh, claims to be fine, seems to be fine, walking off on his own accord. So there we go. We're going to have a quick interview with uh, Mr. Butler from Quebec uh, in Mr. with uh, Mr. Rathwell here ringside. And here we go to the interview. Thank you. First of all, I guess the big question is for Steven, uh, congratulations, how does it feel to get the win? He demands his congratulations and he demands what it feels to have this victory. He says that it feels good, that we were well prepared for that. He's is extremely happy, uh, he prepared really well with his team and uh, he's extremely happy to go into the finals. Because this is the first competition without the headgear, uh, with, the, with, the, with the knockout, you know, uh, how is his reaction, you know, to something like that? Because this is, you know, and the first time that we're seeing competitions without the headgear. The fact that it's the first competition without the headgear, how do you react face to the knockout, face to the fact that you don't have the headgear? I like it a lot because it's the first time that we're seeing competitions without the headgear. Ça donne plus de challenge. Tu as peur de manger des coups de tête, mais j'aime vraiment ça. He really likes it. Uh, he thinks that it's more challenge. There's more challenge, and he, uh, uh, you have to be aware of your head. You don't want to have a, a headbutt, so uh, it's another challenge. He likes it. Congratulations.